Let's see. I will. I got you. So I have I have this here. Oh, after you trim, make sure you put them or where wherever you put them, make sure the surface is clean. Okay, and not too rough, otherwise you don't have the foot being ruined or the rim. So make sure you put them on a very good surfaces. I have I have my cuffs, I have this, I have this. We may not use all of them, but I have them. I have this also. You know what they are, right? Yeah. Okay. I have this, I have a brush. <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you a few because there are so that there, there's so much so many designs of handles that you can use so you can watch videos from elsewhere that you want I'm only going to show you a few and then you gotta do them or find your own needs of or your own designs and then do them is there anybody over there? So before you design the handle, you have to decide whether you're going to hold a, a cup or the handle is going to take just a finger or two or all five fingers okay so that determines how big the handle should be if you're going to use if you're going to grab the cup from uh, with the five fingers you don't have to have the handle very very tiny in the same way you have a tiny handle know that it's just a finger or two okay so and also it should be according to the size of the cup all right so a cup like this you can have a small handle that will be just for one finger if the cup is big and I'm just I just want to use just a handle that fits into just one finger I should know where to position it so that I can balance the weight when I lift it up all right so if the hand if the cup is as big as this I don't have to put the handle right close to the rim otherwise when I lift it the weight of the content in it is going to weigh your hand down All right so it has to be positioned either in the middle or somewhere that you can balance the weight when you lift it up okay so the simplest is to start with a coil Okay, so you just roll the coil and then shape the coil whichever way you want it according to how you want it if you're not sure you can do some drawings and then cut a template okay so let's say I want something like like this We want something like this as a handle. So I have this as a template. Okay, this is the shape that I want. So I only just ship the coil according to this shape or I can put the shape down and then I'll put the coil on it just so the coil will take that shape. So 
so if this is what I want to use this is too wet so I'll let it sit for a while or I can use the can use the heat gun to force it to dry Okay, so now you pick up your and then decide where to put it. Okay, so if I, if I want to put it here, this is how it's going to be, something like this. Is that what you want? You decide. Okay, you can choose to also turn it upside down like this. It is still valid. Okay, you may use, like I said, you have no restrictions on this okay you can watch vi videos you can find images on pinterest on on youtube on uh, on instagram everywhere and then gather your own ideas okay but this is just the basics all right so if you if you want to put this what do you see does it go according to the contour of it especially no. this side okay so we need to cut we need to shape it so that it goes with the flow of the cup okay it has to touch like this so that when we join in we can have a, a proper joining to get rid of anything like that the cup falling off, uh, the handle falling off when it, when it dries, All right? So this is one. You can also have, just roll a slab. Like I said, the clay is very wet, so you have to force it to, to be stiff for how likely. Let's say I want to use anybody has a knife or oh, I can okay no no problem no worries let me use this okay and then you shape it once again to whatever shape that you want okay, so let's say this one I don't have any templates, but I want it to look more rounded. Maybe something like this. Okay, so let me heat it so that I can lift it up. I wait for this we can also try something different say I have some two coils I can weave them together okay so maybe something like this and just weave them together and then I shape it whatever I want and then you attach it okay so like I said there are so much that you can do you don't have any restrictions okay you may also choose to let's say something
So maybe instead of just a finger, you may choose to have something like this, like an ear or something, and you put it on the cup. Okay, so you lift the cup by this. All right. You can also choose, depending on how big your cup is, you may choose to give it two handles. One on the left, one on the right. All right. <clears throat> and then you do it. Okay, so you can also have something like a ring. So it's rounded. I just want to be very quick so that you can go back. I score. Okay, so this is going to be my handle, and then I can attach it. Okay, so let me <coughs> let me heat this to dry, and then I'll attach some of them for you to see, and then we'll be out of here. So you are not restricted to these shapes or these designs. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is to is for you to know how to do the attachment, the scoring and the joining. The rest, you can do anything you want, any shape, any form, any ideas that you can gather from me more. Okay? <clears throat> you can be more adventurous by modeling something. I remember my last class, I had somebody having a bunny as the handle somebody had a, a snake so you may also choose to have um, a bee which you're all interested in <laughs> okay so let's start with the first one which is the coral if you want to use this the heat gun you should be careful okay for me, I have been burning myself several times, so I don't care anymore. It comes out 800 but, degrees. Yeah. 800 degrees comes out of there. But you should be careful you don't <clears throat> burn yourself. <clears throat> okay, so I decide where to put this, and then I'll make a mark. Okay, so you want to put it... This is where I have to, I want to put it, I, I will mark, okay, and also when you put it, you have to make sure that it is aligned, okay, I don't care if your handle is attached this way, okay, but you should know that whichever way you want to attach the handle, has an effect on the weight of the cup when you lift it okay so for you not to strain your hand for you to feel comfortable when you lift the cup you, sh you should measure how you attach the handle okay so for me i'm just going to make it something straight something symmetrical so i make the mark and then i score by scratching okay and you should you shouldn't be very too generous with the scoring you should score properly okay so that you don't regret when when it dries okay so like I always tell you sometimes the clay if, if the clay wants to be mean to you do not show that true character until it is fired where you cannot do anything that is where you see the cracks or it comes off and it, you can't do anything about it so you have to do your best to do the right thing by scoring very well okay 
don't score like you are just being scared of scratching the surface of the clay. No. Right? So, I will. <clears throat> so two things. It's either I apply a slip very thick on one side. Okay? Very thick on one side. And then I will not apply anything here because it is thick here so when I press into it it's going to complement that or I apply on both both ends on the handle and then on the cup okay so press into it and then I'll press that's true. So when I'm done, I have to set the cup, okay, and then make sure that the handle is straight, okay, or is parallel to the middle of your cup. You can do so with a either with any straight edge. Maybe you put it in the center of it, and then you you make sure that it aligns with the handle okay that way you know that the handle is properly centered and so when you lift it you lift the cup by the handle you're going to feel comfortable right so I may choose to leave this spillover as part of the work okay or you can also decide to get rid of it all right so I would suggest that whether you're going to leave it on or you're going to wipe it off or off make sure you have a spillover okay so you have the spillover just let it stay for a few minutes it starts to get stiff and then you use this tool okay to clean it okay so without a spillover you are supposed to put a small piece of clay or a small coil okay you put it around it and then you press to clean that surface but when you have the spillover the spillover is going to do the job of this okay so you have two options here let's put this aside and then let's see how we can touch this guy Okay, so I hope this doesn't break on me. It's like I over over dried it. Okay, so this guy is going to be on here. Okay, so if you determine that this is where it has to be, I make sure I make the mark. very well if you become too lenient with the scoring and the joining you may regret at the last minute so don't be too lenient Okay, 
So when I put this on, I make sure I have to make sure that I press it to make it. Before I press, I have to check the alignment. If it is straight. So this means that this cup can only be lifted with just a finger, okay? Because when it dries, it's going to shrink, so uh, the, the gap is going to close up. So it's just one finger. So one finger in, if, you're, if you have smaller hands or smaller fingers, if two can fit, two goes in, then the thumb you hold the top, okay? So most cups that cannot take all four, all four fingers, it's either one goes in and then another will support at the back or at the, at the bottom of the handle. So one in here, the thumb on the top, and then one, so it's gonna, you're going to hold it like this. Okay, so the thumb is going to be, I don't know how to show it to those yet, so it's going to be something like this. Okay, so that you don't put so much stress on just the finger. Okay. So this is different, this design is different from this. This has sharp edges. So I need to clean the edges so that it will feel comfortable in the hand or the, the finger will feel comfortable in it. So I can use my sponge or I can start with this just to go over the edge just briefly To make it soft, okay. <clears throat> so I'm doing all this at the same time because we don't have time. But we have four cups. So if all the handles are going to be like this or different handles, fix the first one, let it sit, go to the next, the next and then you come back to the first one to do the cleaning okay but then it will be well attached okay because the clay will be absorbing the moisture out of the, the slip and that helps it to um, attach very well okay so I'll use my sponge to clean right the reason why I don't want to, to, I said you have to let it sit for a while. Now it is still soft. So with a, if I put more stress on it, it's going to fall off. But if it had stayed, okay, it will be stiff enough. So for instance, if I have to use the heat gun, <clears throat> and I don't want you to be using the heat gun when it's attached, okay, you may end up drying one more than the other. I'm only using the heat gun here because we don't have time. All right? <clears throat> so if I start to clean with a sponge, you see that it's getting smooth on the edges. Okay? And that way you are sure that you're going to feel comfortable when you lift the cup. Okay? So I clean this off. This time I'm not leaving the excess slip. Okay? I want to clean it off. say this is also done <clears throat> so I decided to put this in the middle okay because I have to balance the weight okay even if there's nothing in the cup the cup still has weight so when you lift it it's going to have weight on your hand right so know where to place what okay <clears throat> so let's We've done slab, coil, 
what else? Some of you may have seen the handle being pulled. I don't know if anybody has watched any video. So, <clears throat> with that one, you have two options. It's either, so on the cup you will see that you put a small, like you score, So this is the most traditional way. Okay, so put it there. Or like this. Okay. If you want to use this idea, oh this can also be a handle. Just like this. It can also be a handle. Okay. So What I don't know if anybody has any you know, so you're going to pull this to elongate it and then you attach it, okay? So sometimes you see people doing it with the, just the fingers like this or both hands, clay is too soft, so I, I'm scared it may fall off if it falls, don't laugh. Because we are in a hurry. So it goes. <clears throat> okay. And then. If this is how I want it. I'll make sure that this side is also spoiled. It is too soft. So I have to be quick, otherwise, it will fall on me. So after pulling, I attach it. Okay. At this stage, you cannot do this. Like I said, you have so many options. If you, if you want to do the pulling, you can pull separately, and then come and fix it. So you may choose to pull like this. Say, this is how I want it. So I'll pull and then I'll shape it how I want it. I'll put it down. When it's stiff enough, I'll lift it, score, and join it to the cup. Okay? So, whichever way you want to go, you are the boss. Okay? So, I'll put in some slip here. And I'll go. Any questions? <clears throat> Otherwise, we are done. Yes. Will we still have time next week to put handles on, or do we have to finish uh, getting our handles on our cups this week? So, next week, you may come and not have to play. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because I'm told after this, but this week or to tomorrow there will be no clear available. Yes. So if you want to do anything wet, I may choose to violate whatever is available and give you time to fix your handles on Monday. But I may not be able to give you clay because there will not be clay around. Okay. Also, you have the option to be able to finish trim. You have to finish trimming this week, and then you have an option of taking the works with you to your house, and then work on it if you have time. Okay. So from next week, everything has to be ready going into the kiln. 
dry. So after next week, after this week, you have just like two weeks. Unless you want us to push everything all the way to the last day. Which we are not going to. I just want want us to have some one week off so that we can continue working on our other courses. So the ball is in your court.